Hey, Homeberries. No points for guessing where I went to lunch today. In the interest of fairness, there are a lot of great burger places. McDonald's, Wendy's, White Castle, Steak and Shake. So, you know, don't want to seem, I don't want to seem like I'm taking sides or anything. Tonight, we have another Bizarre Vark reaction. Saturday, uh, April 13th. Yesterday, they, or when I'm recording this, it's yesterday. They did what's supposed to be the series finale of Bizarre Vark. And I, I only saw a little, but to me it was disappointing. No ambivalence here. It was disappointing in a number of ways that I felt. <clears throat> there was a joke at the end, I thought... I don't know if this is funny, stupid, or both. I've only watched very little of this past season. I did see a little of this episode called House Band. They finally address the absence of Dirk, which is Jake Paul's character. The, uh, Bernie has been spending time with the two new characters Zane and Rodney and Paige noted he hasn't been this happy since before Dirk left Fugle. Frankie asks where is he now and Paige just cut her off. There was this weak quiet laughter from the laugh track as if the laugh track wasn't sure if that was supposed to be funny or not. So I am glad they acknowledged it, but I think they could have done a little something more. For instance, when when Frankie asked where he went, they could have made some joke like, oh, he said something about the city of England. It would have been very easy to make a joke. I also saw a little later, Bernie said he was close to Zane and Rodney because Dirk was like his big brother, so now he's like a big bro brother to them. And I thought, finally, they gave him some character development, so better late than never. <clears throat> this episode is from season two. It's before Dirk left. Promposal Problems is the twelfth episode in season two of Bizarre Vark. Plot. Paige and Frankie become the promposal masters of Sierra High until a lofty promposal ask from Bernie jeopardizes their perfect record and their friendship. That sounds dramatic. A promposal is when you invite someone to go to the prom. I thought, well, this being Disney Channel, we can at least assume there won't be any racially offensive promposals. I say that because there was a story I read a few days ago. Someone had a promposal that was racially insensitive. You might think, oh, well, it was in poor taste, but at least it was unique, right? No, someone got in trouble for doing the same promposal last year. So either this boy just happened to come up with the same one someone else had done, or he was on the internet looking for ideas, and he came across this story about someone getting in trouble, and he thought, hey, I'll do that, this will be great. Uh, <clears throat> There's one more thing before I start the episode. This has a character called another Vugler called Viking Guy. And oh my gosh, from what I've seen, I thought Willow from season three was pointless. Viking guy has to be the most pointless character on this whole show, and that's... 
I saw a scene. They wanted to build something new in the Vugal Studio headquarters. Whatever, I think it's called the Vugal headquarters. They wanted to build something new in the building, and Amelia had a model. The Viking guy asks, Oh, how are we supposed to fit in, in there? I thought, how do you think you can get away with stealing a line from Zoolander? To be fair, maybe it was meant as an homage, or maybe they just happened to come up with a similar line. All I know is, as bad as that was, it was still pro probably better than anything in Zoolander 2, so <clears throat> I'll give them that much. I think I've given enough of in an introduction. This will be in three parts, because that's what I'm used to at this point. This will, hopefully this will go well, because the last one had an issue. If things go according to plan, this will be my second to last Bizardvark reaction. And for the record, no, I will not be responding to, or reacting to the last episode or anything else from season three. So, <clears throat> video is on daily motion. Okay, and here we go. Promposal problems. There's an ad. This one's for a tractor. So, we'll see what kinds of commercials they have, because it seems like we have some... Interesting commercials. Oh, this is the reason I decided to watch this, the Create a Superhero. Now, being a comic books nerd, I'm a superhero nerd, I'm interested in this. It's like, who's lying? On whose sign is it anyway? Th that's fair. Well, that's not bad, actually. That's good. I'm imp I'm impressed. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> well, I don't know. You might want to disguise that for, you know, they're going to be on to you. Yeah, that. Well, that's like the joke. Uh, an example of it was on George of the Jungle. Someone gave George this uh, mystic rattle. He said, "What's that for?" Oh, it's to keep away polar bears. But there are no no polar bears in the jungle. Well, see how well it works. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. See, if the whole series were like that, I I would have watched more. I know I was talking about something before that started, but I don't remember what it was now. Um. I think I've made all the jokes I can about the intro, so they're just nothing to do.
<laughs> okay, that's an interesting in introduction to the plot. Yeah, I think this is natural. It's a natural plot development. Yep. Yeah, I smell good. Not as uh, absurd as it sounds. My freshman year of high school, there was this boy, either a junior or senior, who was was asking every girl in the library if they would be available to go to prom. So... They're getting right into it, but it's working so far, I think. For all I know, there may be a store devoted solely to deodorant in, in this universe. I don't know. The... You know, I'm just sort of rolling with it at this point. Oh, they had this same stupid commercial the last time I I watched a Bizarre Vark video. And it's not playing or letting me skip. I don't know what it is with this site sometimes. Yeah, let's have a long ad about shaving, because anyone who clicks on watching Bizarre Vark is going to care about... And they're showing it back to back. Because apparently they feel we weren't smart enough to grasp what they said the first time. So they need to play the stupid ad a second time. I think I'd like to start my day by wishing vengeance on people who insist on showing annoying ads. Yeah, I'll throw my popcorn at them.
It's some rude people. I, I've been there. Oh, well, we're doing this, huh? The hair blowing like a shampoo commercial. A large child size suit, so a, a small suit is, is what you're saying. Said our perfect record will be shattered. Well, how how many have you done? They only showed the one, so that <laughs> doesn't mean much at this point. I assume it's more than one, but um, in any case, that's part one. So see you shortly.